Certain Affinity welcomes you to another Forge tutorial. This week we'll be going over kill volumes and how to use trait zones to create a ceiling on your map to prevent players from leaving the play space. Kill volumes are used to prevent players from leaving your map by either killing them or giving a 10 second timer to return to the map. To place a kill volume, select the spawning category. There are two types of volumes that can be used to define the end of your map. Safe boundaries and kill boundaries. These function opposite to one another. Kill boundaries will kill the player if they enter the zone, while safe boundaries will kill the player if they leave the zone. Soft safe boundaries and soft kill boundaries will give a 10 second timer for the player to return to the map instead of killing them immediately. Note that kill boundaries will override safe boundaries, meaning that you can place a kill boundary inside of a safe boundary and that area will no longer be safe. Let's look at an example. This map is set up so that a safe boundary encompasses the entire level. Exiting the safe zone will kill the player immediately. Suicide. Inside of the safe zone, there's a soft kill boundary which overrides the safe volume, making this bridge give a 10 second timer to return to the map. Another way of keeping players inside of your level is to use a ceiling to prevent players from using the jetpack to leave the map. This can be done in Halo 4 by using a trait zone along the top of your map. To place a trait zone, select the gadgets category from the object menu. Press X to access the object properties. Take note of what trait channel is being used, alpha in this case, and then adjust the shape so that it covers the area you want blocked. Press the start button and select trait zone properties. In trait zone alpha, select movement. The player gravity needs to be set to 200%. This will cause the player to drop immediately as they hit the trait zone. And you can test this inside a forge with a jetpack. As the player hits the trait zone, put the force back down to the ground. By using boundaries and trait zones, you'll be able to keep players where you want them. As always, if you have any questions or video requests, be sure to leave a comment below. From all of us a certain affinity to all of you, Forge on!